Hey guys, welcome to the Euro Homestead. So today I wanted to share a favorite recipe of mine um, for zucchini. Um, we actually love zucchini bread and it is something that's very simple to make. And if you have a bunch of leftover zucchinis, which zucchini plants are very high producing plants, be warned if you are a new gardener, one plant is plenty. Like, I'm not kidding. And you can actually succession sow them based on where you're at because um, they do have like a short window. So you can actually do another plant later as the one plant might, get, might be getting tired. You can plant another one and that one will, will continue to produce up until the frost. So anyways, I wanted to share you guys, show you guys um, a favorite recipe of ours that I got in a cookbook that my mom gave me 11 years ago. It was when we got married, so she gave it to me as part of our gift or whatever. So um, yeah, it's just been a recipe that I've loved, but these are the ingredients. And it has like super simple steps. So I'm actually gonna share the ingredients down below. Um, just the entire recipe I'll just put down below as well. And then yeah, if you have any questions, you can totally like add, take out. I usually don't put as much sugar in. Um, I don't like using as much sugar. Um, and then maybe sometimes I'll add like nutmeg or allspice or just different spices to it just to give it like a different flavor. Um, I use olive oil, uh, cold pressed olive oil that's organic. And then for my sugar, I actually use organic cane sugar when at all possible. Um, instead, you can use uh, erythritol, exalitol. Um, just be aware of your measurements and stuff like that. Um, I don't add nuts. We don't really like nuts in our bread. And then I do use an organic flour as well. So... We're just gonna jump into this. It's super simple to make. Um, I'm gonna actually first start with the zucchini, grate it, and then um, see how much I have and how many loaves I can make. So this uh, recipe actually makes two large loaf pans or two small. So like mine are, I think, the number three pans. Um, I'm not quite sure what these are called, but there's like different size of bread pans. So you want a bread pan, um, unless you have a pan that you want to make it in, it doesn't have to be in a loaf. I'm not even sure what sizes these are. These were hand-me-downs. So anyways, we're just gonna get started. Um, I have my KitchenAid mixer. You just need a stand mixer. You can use a hand mixer, whatever. Um, and yeah, really easy recipe. All right, so I just wash the zucchini and then I leave the peel on. You can peel it. Um, and then also, if you don't like the big seeds in it, um, you can cut those out as well. So you can cut it in half and then, you know, obviously take the seeds out. Just preferences. All right, so I ended up getting uh, enough to do a double batch. So I need two cups of grated zucchini lightly packed with the juice. So I'm just going to double this recipe um, and make two batches so that I'll have four loaves. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. Um, so yeah, the ingredients are pretty simple. So this is the consistency you should end up with. Um, it's, it's like pretty liquidy, so you're gonna be able to like pour it in, but it's still sticking together. Um, so now, I always flour uh, my pans because the bread just seems to come out quicker. 
Um, so you want to use like oil and then put flour on. Um, just very, very thin layer of flour. Um, I use butter and then like a basting brush to, to get the butter on there. So I'm going to use four pans because I'm making the bigger loaves, like I said in the beginning. Yeah. I made a giant mess, but hey, that's me. Okay, so now you're going to bake it at 350 for one entire hour. So this is something, once you get it in the oven, you can go and do all kinds of other stuff. So we have four loaves. I filled them a little over half, almost three-quarter full. Um, you can weigh it so it divides equally, but yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, and then once you get them out, the best that I like to eat them is warm. You put um, some dabs of butter on it and you just eat it like that. So yeah, we're going to stick them in the oven and then I'll show you guys what they look like once they're done. They are done nice and soft but crispy on the top. I'm going to let them sit cool a little bit and then I'm going to pull them out of the loaf pans and put them on a cooling rack. But that is it. Delicious zucchini bread. And you can freeze this and unthaw it. So all done. We already ate half of it, but nice crisp on the outside and soft on the inside. Um, and then I actually like to put butter on it and that's it right as it's warm still. So I'm going to cut these up and I'm going to put them in bread bags um, and freeze the rest of them because I do have these three loaves. My kitchen is a complete disaster right now because I was making dinner in a hurry. But we're going to freeze them. I'm going to clean my kitchen. And so, yeah, nice, easy recipe for you guys. If you guys share some other zucchini recipes, that would be great. I would love to hear them. Um, but, yeah, this is one of my favorites. Favorite ways to use a bunch of zucchini. So, so one, I don't know, large zucchini um, makes four loaves of this bread. So, yeah.